Cause I'm gang now. I'm gang. <laughs> Wait, I feel like I'm a cool kid cause I got this cup now. She eats all the girls up, I don't care. I'm so obsessed with this. I'm gonna need Bath and Body Works to see me. Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? Hey bestie boo, so it has honestly been a long time since I sat down and filmed a video for you guys. I just thought it would be super cool to share with you guys all the things that I've been loving for the month of January and I honestly do think I will make this a recurring series on my channel where I sit down and gather all the things and items that I've been loving and wearing and using and share them with you guys because y'all know I don't gatekeep. As y'all bestie, y'all know I love to put y'all on. So if you guys would like to see all the things that I've been obsessed with in January just keep on watching so first things first y'all know I am a fashion girly first and foremost so let's hop right into the fashion part of today's video I only have two items that I'm gonna go through really quickly with you guys but honestly I have been so obsessed with Ferragati essentials I done put my mom on I low-key put my little brother on I probably didn't put him on he probably already knew about Ferragati essentials my boyfriend wears it I, ain't, I know I ain't put him on but like I love fear of God y'all know I am a cozy cutie so I I love me some cozy wear i love me a good two-piece set a good sweatsuit so the first fave i have is this coral essentials sweatsuit and honestly the pants are probably in the dirty clothes but i'm just going to show you guys the top so it is just it's a pullover hoodie with the kangaroo pockets and it just says 1977 i actually bought the beige version of this hoodie back when I first got into essentials and my mom stole it and then my brother stole it from my mom so that just goes to show like how much we're obsessed with essentials but I love this sweatsuit so much because it's so thick and warm especially for the winter honestly I could throw on this sweatsuit with nothing else just no jacket no nothing just throw on this sweatsuit and be warm and good to go so I've literally been obsessed make sure you head over to essence because that's where I get my essential stuff from they ship literally overnight I think I think there's like two day shipping or overnight shipping and you will get your essentials literally the next day so super obsessed with this so the next thing are my Yeezys. I forget what these are called I think these are in the color stone or something I know they are definitely 350s or 700s what are these y'all I think these are 350s if I'm not mistaken, they might be 700s, but I'm pretty sure they're 350s. I'm literally obsessed with this style of Yeezy. It definitely gives dad shoe, but I love this color. This color, even though it's winter time, this color is so essential in my wardrobe. Y'all know I am a neutral girl. So this color does it for me and this style the style and silhouette of sneaker definitely does it for me i literally put these on with everything sweatsuits skims all that good stuff i throw these on i've literally been wearing the heck out of these and i'm surprised these don't look beat up they could be um you know a little wiped down on the sole but it's fine i'm gonna wipe them down in this video but yes i'm so obsessed and i'm sorry if you don't support kanye that's your business we stand kanye over here a little bit that's my guy don't let jordan hear any kanye slander because he will definitely come for you <laughs> he will definitely come for you but yeah shout out to yeezy and they gotta zoom my boy kanye better they gotta come correct with kanye so that's all for fashion now let's hop into beauty fragrance and skincare so the fragrance that i've literally been obsessed with since i got it back in december is this k ali vanilla 28 now this is my first k ali fragrance seeing how i'm so obsessed with this i'm definitely going to dive more into k ali there are a few on my list but this girl right here she eats all the girls up i don't care i don't care what nobody got to say she eats all the girls up up this vanilla is, is not like your regular vanilla it's not like a mixed bar vanilla bourbon she's sweet but not too sweet she's warm she's sexy she's seductive you put this on everybody's flocking to you that's all i gotta say everybody's going to flock to you everybody's gonna ask you what you have on i've literally been obsessed y'all see i got it in december and i've already put a small dent into this bottle i'm gonna have to get a bigger size if they have one or just another one before the end of the year is out this fragrance is perfect for whenever day night 
errands anything it's so versatile i love a vanilla i feel like that's why a lot of people just love vanilla so much because it's so versatile you can literally wear it any and everywhere summer spring fall winter whenever wherever however layer it wear it on its own i've literally been loving this fragrance so much 10 out of 10 recommend head to your nearest sephora or wherever and go smell this and get your hands on it so next on my favorites list is this burberry london now i got her from tj maxx or marshall's maybe a year or two ago and she definitely was a steal and I really didn't gravitate towards her until recently. Y'all know I'm a fragrance girl and y'all know that I've been dreading going to work lately. So definitely to pick up my mood, I love to put on a fine fragrance. So I've been putting her on a lot lately and I've been obsessed. This is my go-to work fragrance for right now. She just smells so rich so luxurious she got money she is who i aspire to be in life so if you are a corporate nine to five baddie i definitely do suggest checking this out maybe check out your nearest marshall's tj maxx stores like those and see if they have them because i definitely got this for a steal so next thing on my list is you guessed it the fenty butter drop and this is the holiday one i'm so obsessed with it from the packaging to the scent to the shimmer riri knew exactly what she was doing when she created this i'm so mad that i didn't get another one because when i tell y'all i'll be walking around smelling like a walking cinnamon roll edible delectable oh i love it so much and i love to pair it with my kali vanilla 28 i walk around smelling like a snack all the time i promise y'all like i smell edible all the freaking time and it's because of the products that i use it's definitely too late to cop this but if she ever comes back with it y'all know i will stack up on like five of these so i've been obsessed with the peter thomas roth face mask and when i tell y'all these masks really be masking the mask that y'all get from marshall's or wherever those little sheet masks that don't do nothing don't have nothing on this face mask all of his face masks are chef's kiss perfection the one that i've been loving for the month of january is the water drenched hyaluronic cloud mask with hydrating gel y'all know winter time the skin gets dry drier than dry the skin to be parched but with this i literally use it twice a week and when i tell y'all my skin be glowing my skin is supple my skin is hydrated moisturized i highly recommend if you have very dry skin especially in the winter time highly recommend this because as soon as you put it on you feel it working you feel the cooling and once you take it off you still feel that moisture your skin is in dry your skin is gonna love you i promise and something that definitely goes hand in hand with the face mask and something i've definitely been loving are his cucumber detox hydrogel eye patches when i tell y'all these these right here i gotta get me another one because i'm scared to run out of these i gotta keep getting more i gotta try all his other masks but these right here after i do my skincare and i do my face mask i put these on and leave them for like 30 minutes i think it's only supposed to leave them for like 10 minutes but i leave for like 30 minutes and then i massage the goodness from this whatever the the stuff is i massage it into my under eye and when i tell y'all i wake up the next morning looking just looking just looking like when i tell y'all y'all need to invest in these especially if you have like dark, dark circles or if you're like me and are obsessed with skincare definitely invest in peter thomas roth He's definitely very, very pricey, but definitely very worth it. And honestly, y'all know I like to spend money. And especially on quality things, I'm going to spend that dollar if I'm getting back quality. And y'all know I wouldn't lie to y'all. So next thing you guys know, I've been obsessed with my Nina Page hair. <laughs> y'all, I literally am so obsessed with this hair. I just washed it maybe like two weeks ago. I've had this sewing in over two months. It don't look like it. It's, it don't look. It. It. It don't look like it. It don't look like I've had this sewing in that long. This hair is literally bomb. Everyone thinks that this is my hair. My hair ain't far from it. But everybody thinks that this is my hair. And I'm so obsessed. Like when I take this sewing out, I'm going to be so sad. But there is definitely a link in the description box where you can go purchase this hair this hair is part of the rose gold collection it is the water wave and y'all see it straight because i feel like curlier textures definitely do match better if you have textured hair y'all know i have curly hair so when i straighten my hair it definitely mimics 
this hair and yeah so if you guys are interested in some good quality hair that will last you years and years and years that is raw hair and that is quality make sure you guys go check out nina page and type in my coupon code which will be also in the description box for some money off so next besties let's hop into all my home essential faves for this month so first things first is the blissy satin pillowcase so currently it is on my bed right now i'm not gonna take the pillowcase off and show y'all but this is the box it came in it's super cute <laughs> i did post a tiktok of me doing like a sunday reset and then i posted another tiktok with the pillowcase so if you guys are not following me on tiktok make sure you go follow me on tiktok and like videos and comment and do all that good stuff but i've always been a satin pillowcase girly a satin sheet girly like i love me some satin sheets like i, I honestly do it definitely gives luxury it definitely does give the black girl luxury that i exude <laughs> These are a game changer because they are 100% pure mulberry silk. And I've never had silk bedding before. Satin, yeah. You can get satin from Amazon. You can get satin from Macy's. But silk? And it's not expensive at all all like oh my goodness i am so obsessed with this it keeps me so cool during the night these definitely keep you cool they keep your skin from getting any wrinkles and they're better for your hair so if your satin bonnet or scarf does fall off in the middle of the night you do have this extra layer of protection that will keep the cotton from snagging your hair and sucking out the moisture so yeah definitely do invest in some satin or silk pillowcases honestly truly is definitely worth the investment the next thing I've been obsessed with is this candle right here. Of course, it's a Bath & Body Works candle. And before y'all say anything, I know Bath & Body Works candles are not good. I'm just a Bath & Body Works candle kind of girl. Maybe one day I might be like on CJ and come with my own candle line. <laughs> Who knows? But I am just obsessed with this scent. This is the Love Aromatherapy Candle in Rose Vanilla. And they discontinued this scent. I'm gonna need Bath and Body Works to see me because I'm a loyal customer and I just feel like every time you like a fragrance and fall in love with something that they have, they discontinue it. And I don't understand why because these things be selling like hotcakes. This scent sells like hotcakes and they discontinue it, really? And I think honestly this is my last candle and honestly I burnt the heck out of it So I don't know what I'm gonna do But one thing I did start doing guys is I started making my own candle melt So I bought a candle warmer on Amazon I'll link that in the description box if y'all want me to And I literally got some molds, some ice cube molds from Dollar Tree I melt the candle down, the remaining Melt it down by boiling Like I put it in a pot of boiling hot water and it melts the wax and then i just pour the wax into the mold and just let it harden after like 15 minutes it's hard pop it into the candle warmer and then you have a continuous fragrance and it lasts really really long like candle melts last for months like two you pop two candle melts in they last forever so i definitely do recommend if you're like me and you have a favorite candle that they discontinue i definitely do recommend doing that the next thing I've been loving, which is also a goal of mine, is reading. Y'all, I made it a goal to read one book a month this year. And so far, so good. I'm almost done with my first... Well, I'm almost done. It don't look like I'm almost done. Because y'all see where the uh, bookmark is. But I'm almost done. It is currently January 25th. I have, what, like five days to finish reading? And I'm going to finish reading in them five days. Y'all know I'm a busy, busy woman. Sometimes y'all know I can't read before bed every night. But tonight I'm going to make sure I read me a few chapters. I fell asleep reading one of these chapters. It was 40 pages. I got through 20 last night and I forced myself. I literally was like falling asleep, dozing off as I was reading. But that's dedication that I have to myself. But the book that I've been loving for January is The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. And I love Jasmine Guillory books. I can't wait until February to get the next book. But basically, I'm not going to tell y'all what the book is about. Just tell you like what kind of author Jasmine Guillory is. So this book is the second of a series of books that are fictional romance books. Not like Fifty Shades of Grey or anything crazy like that. But just like fun fiction romance like girl meets guy fall in love something happens they break up get back together live happily ever after type books 
I love that because I love love, especially black love. She's a black author and she writes about people of color. So I'm just so obsessed with this book. I cannot wait to finish and see what happens. I did read the first book and that was amazing. So I can't wait until the second one. And every single month when I do these favorite videos, I'm going to update y'all on my book of the month. And the last item that is a part of my January Home Essentials favorites is this Starbucks cup. Y'all, 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 y'all. That's all I gotta say. That's all I have to say. I'm obsessed with this cup. I know you guys are. Shout out to my followers that have this cup because I'm gang now. I'm gang. <laughs> I feel like I'm a cool kid because I got this cup now. I'm so happy. This was literally my favorite Christmas present. My mom, I told her about the cup when it first came out, what, in like October, November. I was like, mom, we got to find this cup. We couldn't find the cup anywhere. I told my boyfriend we had to find the cup. We couldn't find it anywhere. We literally looked in New York, New Jersey, and Maryland because y'all know those are my three states. <laughs> so we looked in all three of those states. We could not find this freaking cup. My mom had other people from her job or her friends looking for this cup for me she was like i gotta get my baby this cup and she got her baby the cup i love you ma shout out to you <laughs> i've literally been obsessed with this cup and i've definitely been trying to get more water in and i've been doing a really good job even before the new year like i am a cup girl i am a water girl like i get in my water daily but this just makes it fun and when i'm in the office i feel like i'm that chick like i am I am the corporate office baddie. I am the best person in the office. Just make me the CEO because I have this cup. That's all you gotta do. So besties, that is all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Again, go follow me on TikTok. And I will see y'all in another video. I love you besties so, so much. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.